Hey folks, welcome back to Total War Rome 2. We are continuing our Sinones campaign. Um, so last time we left off, the Ligurians declared war on us. We beat one of their armies. I thought that was all that they had, but apparently they've got quite a bit of land up here. Wow, okay, so this is going to be fun. They've got two provinces. We've got two provinces. It's actually pretty evenly matched. And on top of that, we are currently fighting the Era team, who are also pretty pretty evenly matched with. Um, but I have taken the liberty to go ahead and recruit an army here, because the Era team are possibly going to try and attack Sienna. Sienna, I'm butchering these names, and I'm moving this army back to Clevson. Whenever this army finishes recruiting. Um, and this army's going to get some more units. I'm basically just trying to hold off this right now, but... Um, and I should actually send this army up to take them on. So I can have the go back from this unit. But, that's neither here nor there. For now, uh... We... I think all that is left is just to end the turn. Let me check diplomacy, because I am terrible about checking diplomacy. No. I will say that is so Three Kingdoms was not my favorite game. It really wasn't. Um I had a lot of problems with Three Kingdoms. It did a good job of making me check diplomacy and like I in a good way. It was actually something I was sitting here going, okay, yeah, I can and I can see enjoying uh checking diplomacy because there's stuff I actually want to do. And that wasn't a thing before, so good on them, I guess. Okay, so what I probably should try to do is, unfortunately, I don't think Rennes is going to be able to make too much of an offensive campaign with the Ligurians um, being the way they are. With that being the case, I think he just needs to hold in Stalia, and we move against the Era team finish them off as quickly as we can or at least get them to sue for peace so we can head north again take all of the Ligurian territory and then work away south without threats to the north that the boy I can't handle that's what I am hoping to accomplish but we'll see what happens I never accomplish what I hope to but sometimes it From works out and this is the reason why I can't accomplish what I want to oh uh, Mm, I'm going to decline that, and I'm going to ask for another alliance with them. Okay. So my units are terrible, it is true. Their units aren't great either. So I stand a, a hair's breadth of a chance. I outnumber them slightly, I think. Yeah, I outnumber them slightly. So we're going we're gonna to fight it out and see how it happens, or what happens. Great start right off the bat in a battle them for y'all. So. so here's the plan. This is not anything Go! new if y'all watch my channel. It's pretty quid, quid pro quo. That's what I was looking for. It's pretty standard. Um, even if I can't use Latin phraseology right. Um, and it's not like it's anything fancy. It's This is something that... It, uh, is common use. What I'm going to do, put spearmen up here. Swordsmen, I'm going to put two units of you back here. I'm going to move my general unit out of the settlement whenever the time comes and move him over here where he can hide in the woods until they all get engaged. And we will use our axes as reserves. That's it. That's the whole plan. Our slingers are probably useless in this battle. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to get a good angle on any of their troops. But we're going to try and give them a chance, but I just don't see it working out the 
best. Now, Frenzy and Frenzy Charge are a different thing. So what does Frenzy do? Charge damage and weapon damage. So, uh, only one of those is useful. When in a stationary position, but whatever, it's fine. Get this general over here. Oh, I could have brought him on over here. Well, that was dumb of me. Oh well. Melee infantry at your command. This is a I mean, if they can actually, what I'm should do? Spears move these spearmen a little lower down. Give, I think that gives them a better angle to hit from. There we go. I hope you all enjoyed the last episode. I, one of my friends, uh, or Dalton, wanted. Uh, we were doing stuff, and I decided, you know what? Let's have a uh, surprise guest episode after he got back from eating. And so that's what we did, and uh, I enjoyed it. I hope y'all did it as much as I did. I won't know by now if y'all have commented in an approval or against or anything because I am recording this as the other one is in the process of being uploaded. <laughs> Those cavalry are going to break quick. They're just not strong and we're f they're fighting against spearmen and we have slingers doing a pretty good number on them. Yeah, our slingers are doing uh, yeoman's work there. Oh yeah, so, just like in the last episode, I want y'all to tell me, uh, what you want for the next, uh, for the next series. So, we're doing this histor Grand Historical Code of War campaign, starting at Pharaoh, we're now in Rise of the Republic. Um, the, uh, what's after this is either the Alexander campaign for Rome 2, like a modded version, or a, uh... Or the Rome 1 Alexander campaign, or we just skip Alexander in general and go to, uh... Okay, now I can engage my Axeman. We can skip Alexander in general and just go with, uh... Oops, 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 oops. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay, I guess that is what I want to do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh... Just skip to Hannibal at the gates, which I've told you all already. I'm doing that first instead of the Grand Campaign, because the, the Grand wavering. Campaign... Who's wavering? Uh, my Spearman. Okay, let's charge in with a Frenzy. You do a Frenzy here and here. Um, because the Grand Campaign ends significantly later than the Hannibal Campaign ends, even though it starts later as well. So I need to get my Cavalry involved sooner rather than later. Um, because they're not going to last much longer. Charge in. Slingers. Fire on their slingers. They are... I can't... What? Oh. Duh. Our men flee the field of battle. Come on, fire on their slingers. Oh, those are skirmishers, and they are doing awful things to us. Okay, let's go ahead and get those Sabian warriors either engaged or just... They're just standing there. I, they're, But we're going to get a rear charge on them. Then we'll inspire our axe infantry while we're going. These slingers. Guard mode. Slingers, open fire on those Sabian warriors. Our general, is under attack. Our general is getting 50 kills already. That is what you want to see. As you say, we await your command. Yeah, those Sabian warriors are going to not ride that much of a threat, so let's go ahead and hit these slingers. Warriors ready. Ah! 
I've got uh, three minutes until we can access our frenzied charge again. Maybe we will last that long. Okay, 120. We're not doing bad. Their general is obviously the biggest threat here. And they are doing some major damage on us. And I just can't get them down quick enough. Okay, they're broken. Still breaking. Come on. I want you to be shattered. Uh, that's not going to happen this time. Fire on the general. Hey, we need you. This is your time to shine, general. I need you to actually uh, round up the remnants. Get that slinger unit. The battle is turning in our favor. That's amazing. I didn't expect that, but here we are. I mean, I expected to win. I did not expect it from this current situation. Hey, why don't you charge like I told you to instead of just standing there letting yourself get shot? Pathfinding in Total War. Never been good. Men, oh come on, don't battle. you break on me. This is a shameful display. Come on, charge, you morons. Our men flee the field of battle. Okay, this it is, is only the axe unit left. I need to get back there. ASAP. They're doing the best they can, but I mean, they just aren't going to be able to hold that entire line by themselves. We are with your mm. Elite cavalry. Probably should have hired more mercs, but I didn't. And now all, there's, all that is left to do is to regret it. Mounted warriors. Come on, break. You, uh, I want you charging in, and I want you to do Frenzy. Hey, charge in. Now's our chance. Frenzy charge against their general. He's broken. We won! That's what you want to see. Okay, let's chase him down so he doesn't come back. Oh, hey, that was, that was quick. Costly victory. I'm fine with that. Uh, they're beaten back. Their general is dead. They aren't going to be able to just recuperate easily from that, so I'm fine with significant losses on that. Let's release the captives. I need the money. Okay. That's what you want to see, though. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to move down and sack Ermum. We're not going to raise it because, unfortunately, I don't think that would be a very profitable front. Um, what I'm going to do is expand this unit. Gives me some extra income. Charge in over here. And that'll either have them retreating next turn, which is most likely. Actually, here we go, just do this. Mighty warriors of Gaul, attack! And then, uh, Force March, right there. Bleed, you can is I just wanted it to- I know I would have won with- Oh, I am gonna win with this. I didn't get the army close enough. Oh well. Get that taken care of. I'm going to move the rest of my armies. So I need this army to defend down here. Um... Now then, what I'm going to do, move this army, actually, where is my scouts? Where are my, where are my scouts? Katia's up there, that's right. Oh, where, okay. Um, 
I'm going to wait until I have more info to move in against that. Let's go ahead and start working our way towards some cheaper or some more money from this army. Okay, so what are the Ligurians doing? Okay, they're moving south like I thought they would. Um, I'm just gonna let them. They can get into Stalyal range, and that'll give me a good chance to fight them on my terms. As for this army, I'm going to keep on recruiting some tribalist spears and a couple unit of slingers. I want this. I want to be able to defend this army if I have to. Um, that'll give me five units going into air. Or five units, twenty units going into air team, and I can recruit some mercenaries just before the battle and delete them after. That's what we're going to go with right now. So uh, we'll take, we'll sack Firmum next turn and try and move in with this army against Ikuvium and start this front. But I'm not sure that that's, I don't know that I need to do that necessarily. We'll see how much damage I've taken after doing that raid. You're going to take Clevson because of course you are, because I wasn't there for one turn. Okay. Well, no use complaining about it. It's lost. Let's get it. This is aggressive. I think it does more damage to them, but I don't know. Okay, the Insubreeze and the boy I have signed a piece. Can I get another non or Greetings, defensive friend. alliance with you? I've called for good aid or can I get you to join the Federation? No, not like right that. But. Let's lower that money a little bit. Oh! Yes. That's beautiful. That is exactly what I needed. Oh, okay. That helps out. That does wonders for us. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue my original plan here. Check out and scout around this area. Nothing there. Great. Quick save and auto resolve this. Then we're gonna sack it. Ready for further orders. Attack. We're gonna move back to Santa. Um, this fleet is not that expensive, actually, so we're just gonna leave it in place. They have no armies approaching us, or to approach us with, from either side. Now then, what I- so I can go ahead and take this with just one army, I think. What I'm going to do in that case, force marched, force march this army over here, and we'll do this. They won't have any garrison, we'll be able to just- Quickly take them out. Auto resolve. Aggressive stance. Stab them in the head. That's what you want to see. Sack. Raise. I'm gonna have a rebellion next turn. I couldn't help it. Let's do enclosed land and convert everything. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to kind of keep on moving. This has opened up a new front for us, and I do not believe that there will be any threats coming. So we all, we know that they have two armies down here. Let's see if they have any armies over here, and if not, I'm going to move this army against Ratovium. Uh, I'm gonna start moving anyways, because I don't... I, my, I am guessing... Ooh, that's where the Insubreeze were. I am guessing they don't have anything, and if they don't, I can just take Ratovium. And that'll be putting me in a pretty good position. One second, guys. Alright, folks, I am back. 
But I'm betting money that they don't... I'm not betting money, I'm betting my troops that they don't have anyone there. If that's the case, I can quickly take that. That'll give me a way to, to their northern lands. Assuming they don't move this army up. These army, these, well, it's going to be three armies at that point. But we'll just have to see what happens. Let's end the turn. I'm going to have to, so, unfortunately, the addition of this army has in some way caused problems for me. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to, wait, I have to do the traditions of everyone. There we go. You've got new traditions. No, you've got a... Why did I do that one? That was stupid of me. Oh, an edict. I have another edict available. Let me check who... that is. So that is politically affiliated with myself. So I am going to do a tax harvesting or tribute collection. That'll give me a little bonus to my income. Okay, the Incivries are angry at me. Probably going to try and make a move this turn. No, they did not. Okay, Rebellion and Flothry. The Helvetii and Cleven. Okay, that's that's not that doesn't affect me yet. Okay, the Incibreeze were trying to make a move, just not the one I was expecting, so whatever, that's that's all fine. Let's head against Retovium. And let's try and assassinate this person. Ooh. Okay, let's just Head over here. Get away from them, because I figure they'll do more damage to me than I will, to do, will do to them. Okay, so now is my chance. I'm going to try and take Aratine. Yes. They've got elite units. Continue siege. We take this Let's get some mercs. Oh, I didn't mean to click that, but that's fine. So I actually might be better off to just go ahead and do this as well. I don't care. How Let's get you back in Santa. There we go. Auto resolve. Sack it. And let's raise it. Okay, then let's delete all of these units. And let's start building up. <coughs> let's build a commons there. <clears throat> I'm going to let this army replenish. And try and bring it in later, but for now I just it, I let it take too much damage. These will start making some more income next turn. So the, here's the danger: I need to take the Flothy rebels out, like right now. I'm going to have to just move out and try and do it. But there's a very big and real chance that the Tartuna are not going to sit idly by while my army is away. But I don't think I have a choice here, really. So we're going to force march our way there. Hopefully we can attack next turn. And yeah, let's let our troops replenish three turns. Shouldn't be any more than that then. Yeah, three turns all around. This one's four, that's fine. Martiala. Soldier. Can I finish my wine? Warrior. Let's end the turn.
and Sabrese are trying to hinder my army. Oh, come on. From this war. Really? What have I done to all of these people? Only the youngest and most foolish. Okay, I'm actually okay with this. Yeah, let's let's have peace. Celtic calendar, which could give us some extra cultural conversion, if I remember correctly. I apparently control four provinces now. Uh, raise or sack Taurus. That is clear on the other side of my of the map. Cool. Ready for battle. So I think I would be a fool to let them march oh, in with this whole army. Fall. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attack them one by one. Night attack. Auto resolve. That's that army dead. Yeah! At least captains. We do that. Then we're gonna attack this army. Yeah! Night attack. Same song, second verse. Yeah! Release captives. Thirsty. Not possible. Final battle. And this time the reinforcements are on my side. Auto resolve. Feet in detail. That's what you want to do. Now, then, if I'm smart about this, what I should probably do is go ahead and move against Alvin Ghanum. Because that's going to have a huge... Uh, I think that's pretty much all of their army going to be taken care of right then and there. So let's auto-resolve, get rid of this force. Should have done balance, but I did aggressive. It won't cost me that much. Release captives. Lost a unit. Uh, cavalry. Let's let them replenish a few turns. Let's go ahead and take Retovium. Let's quick save and auto resolve this. It's gonna be a Pyrrhic victory. Sack it, I need the money. I need the money more than I need this army, honestly. Raise it. There we go. Reached our next level of Imperium, which actually hurt us a lot. Of course it did. Well, nothing can be done about that now. Let's go ahead and get a jeweler going, and let's get one of each of those going. Um... Let's just quick save and auto resolve this really quick. The rebels are taken care of. We release the captives. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make a move against Ufluna. And I'm gonna move this army down to Clevson. And I'm gonna move this army down to Aerotim, and I'm gonna move you around our north to help out against the Insabris. Hopefully you actually don't provide that much help because of I'm hoping that at that point your not your services aren't needed, so to speak, but I'd rather have you up there than to not. Okay, let's end the turn. Another edict. Really? What province do I control entirely? Now? Ah, this one. And I am assuming this is also part of my... Yeah, this is part of the Sinone's clan. Or party. So let's just do tribute collection. Now then, I am willing to make peace with the Ligurians. I am sure you have many But they do not want peace with me, so... We'll do it that way. I'm not researching any technologies, that is true. Let's go ahead and get Reading the Stars. I could make that province up here into a uh, town. 
right? That's what that gives me? Yeah. And that will give me a better garrison that I can actually defend pretty well with. Um, so yeah, let's end the turn. Oh, I keep trying to end the turn too quick because there are things to be done. Let's do minus eight upkeep. Let's increase our despoilment uh, trait. And the Razorbacks. Which one are the Razorbacks? Is that you? Yeah, it's you. There we go. That's. I mean, that's. We're just buying time at this point until we can uh, either begin making more money with provinces we currently have or conquer new provinces. Can I my wine? So let's end the turn. Okay, a new party has been formed. The famous Suwardra. Prominent character. Okay, you are angry at us. Right off the bat. And I'm assuming you have a... Okay, so Tuskia is your province. Let's go ahead and just change that to party loyalty. And let's keep moving down to Fufluna. I think he's he can get Fufluna if you can march into Lusna. So I'm going to try and have you do that. Let's quick saw save. Auto resolve. Impressive stance. There we go. Sack. Only providing me with a thousand, but that will give me another thousand once we raise it. Let's get a sacred enclosure and convert that. Give us the bare minimum garrison we can use. Yep. You move to Parmney. Okay, so let's go ahead and have you move to this border. I'm not going to have you attack next turn, but I could use you closer to that border. Um, let's get some tribalist spears in this army. And let's deploy her in this uh, province. Doesn't seem to matter much, but we'll do it anyways. We'll be able to attack Fufluna next turn. Fufluna? I don't know how to pronounce it. I might be able to attack a blended Ganem next turn. Um, two turns on all of those. I'm actually going to go ahead. And have you move. <laughs> against Asta here soon. But I'm going to let you replenish a little bit more. Give you undefeated warriors and soldier. Let's end the turn. While the spirits of our ancestors have no use for Uh, I do not need a non-aggression pact with you. I'm not going to spend money on one, regardless. Troubled populace all around. Edict issued for party loyalty. Let's see how that's affected us. It's good things. All good things. Okay, so... I would like to try and, at some point, destroy... Oh! And your ancestors! Getting spicy over here. That party. But I need to be patient. Let's just auto resolve this. Yeah. 
attack it. Raise it. Convert it. Actually, let's do well, and then let's do a farm. Or, you know what, we have plenty of food. Let's just do an enclosed land. Nope, and an, an artisan's lodging. I'm getting all of my buildings confused. Okay, so we shouldn't try and attack Tartuna itself with this army. I think that would be foolish. So we're going to try and move you against Spalettium here in a bit and move you south to Rate. This has got us in a kind of vulnerable position right here, not going to lie, but we still have 20 units that are all pretty good quality, or health-wise, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Let's just go ahead. They have abandoned it, the settlement. Let's go ahead and just take it from them. Yep, they've completely abandoned it. Uh, there's an army standing over there, but it's not within reinforcement range. Attack it. Auto resolve. Raise it. Convert it. Fortunately, we don't have to do too much building on this other than just rebuilding what we destroyed. And let's get a Warrior's Lodge here while we're at it. Let's go ahead and get a Grove of... Uh, let's get a Mineral Spring. I'm trying to increase my income by every means possible. Now that this is a 13-year dorm against a 14. Probably similar qualities. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this. And recruit a few mercenaries and just take out that army real quick. Let's auto resolve it. Glad I got those mercenaries because it is showing not the best odds for me. Let's release captives. I'm gonna retreat further than I can pursue, I think. Maybe not. Okay, let's auto resolve this. release captives. They're still retreating. Okay. Apparently they can retreat for a while. Well, I am not going to pursue them any further, and we're just going to uh, keep those units in the army, which we're going to merge them so we have the same number of troops with fewer units. We're going to delete this one. So that'll save us quite a bit of money. Um, and that'll have to do for now. Ufluna is rebuilding. Luzna. Um, I think it would be ideal to let you replenish some more. I'm going to move you south again, like I said. Can I just, yeah, we can just force march you back. And that way we can just delete this unit. And that will save us quite a bit of money. Um, we move you to Placentia. And I'm going to have you be my Insubraic army. And let's end the turn. Cause of Andartha. Uh, oh, you have different traditions entirely. Dread Forest Ambushers. Well, I mean, you're going to be fighting in ambushes a lot, so we'll do it. We're not ambushes in the woods. Okay, let's get you out of forced march mode. Let's get you all the way to Placentia, or right next to it, I guess. Hmm. 
hell is our public order doing here? It's actually not doing that bad because we have a lo sizable military presence, which I'm wanting to remove this military. Let me see how bad that hurts it. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it, and I need it because again, this is all based on speed. I'm gonna recruit some mercenaries. I'm gonna take on this army. They are not in reinforcement range. Fortunately, that's a good thing. Because even though I would like to beat this army out in the field instead of on the walls, um, the I don't think I could take both armies in all reality just by recruiting that, uh, mer those mercenaries. Let's release the captives. We'll keep those mercenaries for this turn while we take Spiletium. Spiletium. You know, I don't really need this uh, this fleet right now, and it's wasting a lot of money. Just can save it by doing that. Um, you need to recruit some troops. Do that little number right there. Okay. So I need to be smart with this. I think the best thing for me to do right now is to actually continue pursuing- so this is the edge of the map. I think the best thing for me to do would be to continue to pursue them northwards. Kind of following that edge. If I can get a piece out of them, I'll give it to them. Because they are, have time hurt is quite a bit during this one. They're not going to do it, so I'm not giving them money. That's just not happening in this situation. I am counting on you to take Vatluna and Tarchuna. Um, Aethialia. I do not see an attack happening on Corsica and Sargonia or Aethialia anytime soon. So we're just going to kind of hold off and try and take on the Tarchunans first. Ooh, boy. Let's retreat. Okay, they apparently decided we weren't worth it. And the Sabris are making moves, so that's a good thing to know. I have an army, a full stack army, trying to find a way to break in. The priests have read the Era team are attacking us again. Of course they are. Probably missed some warning signs. Aww. Boris. Okay, okay, whatever. Ready for battle. Where are they attacking? Where's my army at? That retreated. It's right here. To serve my people. So they're probably trying to get in through Perusia? Are they at war or are they at peace with the Aeratine? They have our defensive allies with the Aeratine. Okay. Move up to Asta. Okay, so I'm going to move you out of Force March mode and we're going to start heading against Mediolanum. Try and take that quickly. Fufluna, Fufluna, whatever it's called, is not adjusting the best, but it's not doing the worst either, so I guess I'll take it. Um, what I should do is begin more recruitment up here. Tribalist warriors, move them in against Sestinum. I think. Recruit two more of these units. Attack Spaletum. Spaletium. Spaletium. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just guessing all of this. They only have three units there. So this is entirely overkill. I suppose I should have checked that. Sack it. 
raise it. Or I could liberate it. Uh, let's liberate. Can I finish my wine? And that gives us a new ally. I'm going to have them. You're at war with it. No, you're not. You're not at war with anyone because you're a new faction. And apparently that's how that works. Cool. Well, at least I have a full stack here to fight that army if they decide to try any tricks. Um, I am going to have to delete some units, though. There's no point in having that ridiculous amount of... That ridiculously expensive unit there. Let me see how my public order is doing. Everything's green. What if I do this? Everything's still green. What if I do this? Everything's still green, right? No, everything's red. Okay, uh, the the game just didn't show me it. Okay, so we'll go with high. This has them angry and them angry. And them angry. But I should be able to work that back down here in a few turns. Okay, I don't think I, sh I do share a border with you. Well, whatever. Uh-huh. <coughs> I mean, they do outnumber us. But we've got some mercenary Umbrian defenders. I think we can take them on. So I'm gonna quick save and fight the battle on the battlefield. Yeah, so it's not giving us the best odds, but we are defending, so that counts for something, right? Actually, the best idea would be to have my spearmen be the front line, swordsmen, sir, or hold the rear, one spearman on each flank because they have a cavalry general, one spearman in the center in case he decides to go that route. Let me just get a look at this. I haven't seen the Umbrian defenders. Nice. Very nice. And then some slingers are going to throw you back here. Or actually back here. Cavalry, there is not really any good hiding spots. I guess we can try this. Yeah, well, that'll work. Let's start the battle. They do outnumber us a fair bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Could entirely just demolish us. We're gonna fast forward. The the actual problem is going to be from the fact that they have Etruscan light spears and Italian swords, who are both high threats to our unshielded units. They're probably going to make us charge if I had to guess. That may not be the worst thing for us. Okay, let's readjust this line a little bit. Okay, you're staying hidden, that's all good. If they try and skirmish me to death, I'm just going to have to charge. There's no way I can take on those five units of skirmishers. So which means I'll probably just have to charge because I've rarely seen them have such an advantage with skirmishing and not force the player's hand. Okay, they're going to charge. They have a sizable numerical advantage. I think they're just counting on that to win for them. Double time. No, nope, they're not. Okay, so. This is gonna be sketchy. Okay, 
There's, there's going to be a lot of casualties pretty quick. Try and get at least two units per engagement. Okay, let's do it that way. We await your command. And let's move you forward into the center. I am sure that cavalry is itching to charge in. Spears! Hey, straight off the bat, we're actually doing pretty decent because of that frenzy. It's a very nice ability for us. Their general has yet to charge in. Probably, if I had to guess, it's just the AI being a little bit cautious. But if they are going to be cautious, I think I can take advantage of it. Those native Latin spearmen are not going to last long. Neither are those Italian swords. This flank's already broken, so I'm going to put the young swords and the tribeless spears against them over here. Put my spearmen up here. We're going to put my cavalry out. Surprise! Put them behind the spearmen. The men are wavering. Charge their general. This is a shameful display. Italian Why anyone would go for the infantry general? Whenever the cavalry general is this good, I do not understand. Okay, let's let's move out. Don't get bogged down. That's how you get killed. Okay, who are you? The tribal spearmen? I can use you, definitely. They're starting to break. Don't know if it's going to be enough, but those Etruscan slingers have a death wish. Let's give it to them. You fire on those Italian swords. Okay, our Umbrian defenders got charged on both flanks. They can't survive that. Should have been a little bit more careful than that. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. We did a decent number on their general, though, so. Silver linings, Our folks. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Okay, slingers. Focus fire on the general. 
Sweet. Yep, that that does it. That's what you want to see. Complete and total route. It's not the prettiest battle I ever fought, but it's going to be a W. is turning in our favor. Okay, let's use our general to hunt them down a little. We could definitely use some captives. Okay, let's, those single slingers are sufficiently demolished. Let's go ahead and get this unit over here. Cavalry, as always, doing what we need them to do. And that will have it. I think we can should quit there. Close victory. Not quite Pyrrhic, so that's good. Um, we did lose about half of our troops, but they lost about uh, probably three quarters of theirs. Let's release their captives. Okay, let's retreat. They've got a lot of advantages here that I was not expecting them to have. Finding shelter. Don't catch up. Don't catch up. You caught up. Okay. Well, I'm going to save this for next time. Uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed. I know I have. Make sure you do what the cool kids do nowadays and like, subscribe, do all that. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye!